Hey guys, they finally did it. OpenAI is releasing advanced voice rolling out to all the paid plus and team users in ChatGPT over this week. They've added a few improvements as well. Let's check it out. So seems they've added some custom instructions for specifically the voice mode, memory, and five new voices as well as accents. So let's hear the first post uh, that they made. Hey, ChatGPT. I want to apologize to my grandma for being really late. Oh, that's sweet of you to think about apologizing. How about something like, Grandma, I'm really sorry for being so late. I didn't mean to keep you waiting. Can oh, I make um, it up to She you? only speaks Mandarin. Got it. You could say, 奶奶,对不起,我迟到了。我不是故意让您等这么久的。我可以怎么补偿您呢? This shows your apology and willingness to make it up to her. Great, thank you. You're welcome. I hope it goes well with your grandma. Okay, so we saw there's this new animation here. And it does real-time translation with accent. And now let's check the next feature here. So we could see natural conversations, uh, senses and response to interruptions, humor, and more. Multiple voices offers expanded set of voices to choose from, personalized so it uses memory and custom instructions to shape responses. And you're in control. Audio recordings are saved and you could delete them at any time. Okay. So just something to know they do get recorded, but you could delete them. All right, let's see the next thing. Here are the new voices. Hello, it's lovely to meet you. If there's anything you need, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'm here to help. Hey, how's it going? I'm looking forward to working together. Let's figure out where to start. What's on your mind? Hi, glad to meet you. I think we're going to do great work together. Where should we start? Hi there, nice to meet you. I'm excited to help you get things done. Let's get started. Hey, what's up? Feel free to ask me about anything that's on your mind. I'm ready to go. All right, so we got new voices. Oh, and the biggest thing from this first post is that we have the Samantha voice back. That sounds like uh, that sounds like the voice from her and Scarlett Johansson. Let's listen to that a bit again. Hey, Oh, that's sweet of you to think about apologizing. Yep, it's her. So glad that voice is back so we could have that her experience. And then now let's get into the custom instructions and how that helps. My name is Charlotte. I am a technical program manager supporting the research teams. Uh, I'm Mike. I'm a research engineer working on advanced voice. The voice modality has so many elements to it that are not necessarily present in text conversations. So things like accent, intonation, cadence, the way you want to be referred to. For custom instructions, there's a setting in your settings pane uh, where you can go in and describe in text exactly how you'd like the model to speak. For example, if the model, you really like the model to speak in a specific cadence, so maybe enunciate very clearly, speak slowly, refer to you by your name uh, or a preferred name on a regular basis. You can start off with a pretty simple example, just customizing it to recognize who I am, provide some more personalized feedback about questions I'm going to ask. So going into the settings, they ask you a couple of questions in the customized chat GPT menu. Um, so this first one, what would you like chat GPT to know about you to provide better responses? This is Start really simple. I'll say my name is Charlotte and I live in the Bay. Here. So they save that. I'll go into a new conversation. What are some fun things I can do outside this weekend? The weather looks great. That sounds like a perfect opportunity to explore the Bay Area. You could take a hike in the Muir Woods, enjoy a picnic at Chrissy Field with a view of the Golden Gate Bridge. Or take a scenic drive down Highway 1 to explore the coastline. How does that sound for a start? That sounds awesome. 
I really like the idea of a scenic drive. What route should I take? For a scenic drive, taking Highway 1 is a fantastic choice. You could start in San Francisco, head south towards Pacifica, and then continue down to Half Moon Bay. The views of the coastline are breathtaking, and there are plenty of spots to stop and enjoy the scenery. Plus, you can grab some fresh seafood along the way. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Nice. Now let's take another look at that UI here. Okay, so we see enable for new chats. What would you like ChatGPT to know? And how would you like ChatGPT to respond? So it looks pretty much the same uh, custom instructions that they had before, but maybe it's more tailored to the voice mode or they're just demonstrating it for the voice mode here. Let's look at the last two tweets they have about this. So everyday use case. Hi, my name is Drew. I work on model design at OpenAI. I also helped bring some of the new voices to advanced voice mode. What I often do is I'll have it on next to me. And as I'm working on something, uh, it's quiet when I'm not talking to it. And then I'll have a question and I'll just throw a question at it. And then that question can unfold into a long conversation. The voice will oftentimes adapt to the, to the, the tone of the conversation, what I want to know. Um, but for the most part, I kind of use it as a, a friend that's sitting beside me that can give me information that I can bounce something off of. You can prompt it in a way to make it assume a different character. You can talk to it. You can have it become an interviewer. You can practice interviewing. You can create a scenario where you're telling a story and you're in the story with the voice and you're having a conversation with it. Um, there's a lot of fun things you can do. Um, and it's, it's pretty impressive. These voices are incredibly fluid. I mean, the latency is quite low. It's, it really is like having a conversation with another person. All right. And one last thing to know here is that advanced voice is not available yet in the EU, UK, Switzerland, Iceland, Norway, and Liechtenstein. So RIP to the EU and UK. Man. Um, but hey, it's been, it's been like that for pretty much everyone else who was on the wait list. So the things I'm really most excited about are the custom instructions where you can tell it uh, how you want it to respond. So maybe you want it to always be joking or something like that. I think that would be interesting to customize. But I'm going to hold off on upgrading because uh, I upgraded for the voice mode. I don't know if you were in the same boat as me, but I remember I was just on Claude before and I canceled ChatGPT because I was more into Claude Sonnet 3.5. And then as soon as they announced like this advanced voice mode, I was like, okay, I'm coming back. And then they didn't release it until now. So that's like months and months later. Um, so kind of lost some trust there. So I'm going to wait until I hear a bit more about these voices and the performance of it. I also have some alternate AI voice websites for you to check out. That'll be my next video. But yeah, I'd like to know from you, are you going to sign up or are you already signed up? Do you already have the voice mode? How are you using it? How do you want to use it? Don't forget to comment below about that. And yeah, that's about it. Hope you found this uh, helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Nomaditsu.